As you might know, the universe is quite large. It is in fact 93 billion light years wide. But to me, this seems like a pretty meaningless fact. For starters, what even is a light year? Well, a light year is simply the distance that a single piece of light can travel in an Earth year. The speed of light in a vacuum is roughly 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second. That means at this speed, our single piece of light can travel 9.4 trillion kilometers in a single year. To put that into a bit of perspective, the distance from the Earth to the Sun is just 150 million kilometers, or 8 light minutes. If we want to truly appreciate the massive distances between objects in the cosmos, then we can build a scale model of the observable universe using units of measurement that we can visually understand. Meters and kilometers. We can start with our solar system, and of course at the center is the sun. This football can represent it. With this football being the sun, and this sphere of blue tack being Jupiter, that means the scale we are building our model on is 1 to 7 billion. Meaning that in reality, these objects are 7 billion times larger. Walking 8 meters from the Sun, we reach the orbit of Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. In reality, this distance is 58 million kilometers. Walking another 7 meters brings us to Venus. It is roughly the same size as Earth and is one of the brightest objects in the night sky. It is the hottest planet in the solar system due to its thick atmosphere and spins so slowly on its axis that one day on Venus is 116 days on Earth. Moving on another 6 meters brings us to Earth's orbit. Earth is positioned perfectly in the Sun's Goldilocks zone, meaning that it is just the right distance from the Sun that liquid water is present. This with a number of other ingredients allows life to exist. Well, 32 meters on from our sun and 11 meters past the earth is Mars. It's a bit smaller than the earth and a bit colder as well. And unfortunately, its very thin atmosphere contains 95% carbon dioxide, which isn't brilliant for breathing. There is a lot of talk about manned missions to Mars, and I hope to see human footprints on the red planet in the near future. Now this is where the distances start to get a bit large. 80 meters from Mars and on the other side of the oval is Jupiter, the gas giant, the largest planet in the solar system. Of course famous for its massive red storm and its 79 moons. Traveling another 93 meters from here at Jupiter to pass those trees is Saturn. This is the last chance we'll get to see our football sun, which is barely visible now in the distance on the far side of the oval. Saturn is of course known as the planet with the big rings. It has 59 moons and takes 29 Earth years to complete just one of its orbits. Well, across the highway and 411 meters from our sun, way over there, is Uranus. Uranus is considered an ice giant and has faint vertical rings. Uranus's rings are vertical as the planet is rotated 90 degrees on its axis and instead of spinning, effectively rolls around the sun. Finally, we reach Neptune the final planet in the solar system. A further 200 meters on from Uranus and a whopping 643 meters from our sun. It's roughly negative 200 degrees Celsius out here. It's pretty cold. If we continue a further 3.1 kilometers that way, we will reach the furthest human existence in the universe, the Voyager 1 space probe. Launched in 1977, it has traveled 22 billion kilometers from the Earth over its 44 year lifespan. On its journey it has captured over 19,000 images, including this one, the pale blue dot, which shows the Earth sitting in a ray of sunlight. To return to our light-based unit of measurement, 
The Voyager 1 space probe is just 20.38 light hours from the Earth. From here at the Voyager 1 space probe, the next nearest star system is Alpha Centauri, four light years away. If we were to continue to use our current scale, Alpha Centauri would be 5,744 kilometers in that direction. If we want to even attempt to understand these distances, we're going to have to change the scale. Imagine that everything I have just shown you can be encapsulated onto this 20 cent piece. The middle is our football sun, sitting way over there on the oval. And the edge is right here at the Voyager 1 space probe. Well, we are back at the oval now, and here is our compressed model on our 20 cent coin. Let's place it down. Let's represent the Alpha Centauri system using another 20 cent coin. Now remember that Alpha Centauri is four light years away, and on this scale, that would be 26 meters. The fastest spacecraft ever launched was the Parker Solar Probe. It achieved a maximum velocity of 247,000 kilometers per hour when it shot past the sun. At this speed, how long do you think it would take to reach the Alpha Centauri system? Well, you're probably wrong because the answer is actually 20,000 years. So I think we're going to have to say goodbye to our star civilization fantasies. A very disappointing reality. So if we can't visit the dark corners of the universe, what can we do? We can look from afar. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990 and over its lifetime has captured some amazing images. Arguably the most famous of them all is the Pillars of Creation. Now simply looking at that picture, you wouldn't have a clue how massive that gas cloud really is. It is in fact five light years tall. On our scale, that would be 30 meters. How about this image, the Southern Crab Nebula, which is four and a half light years wide, or roughly 27 meters. Finally, Hubble captured this picture of the Andromeda Galaxy, the closest galaxy to our home, the Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy is 220,000 light years wide. On our scale, that is 1,300 kilometers. And the distance from the Milky Way to Andromeda is 2.5 million light years, or 15,000 kilometers on our scale. That's 38 times further than the distance to the astronauts who are currently on the International Space Station. I think our oval is a bit small to represent this. So, we are going to change the scale one more time. Now imagine that the Andromeda Galaxy can fit onto this 50 cent coin. The Milky Way Galaxy is roughly half the size of Andromeda. Let's represent it with this 10 cent piece. Now at this scale, these two galaxies are separated by half a meter. Again, if we were to travel on the fastest spacecraft ever, this mere half meter would take us 11 million years to cover. Andromeda is currently moving towards the Milky Way at a speed of 110 kilometers per second, which means in roughly 4 billion years, the night sky could look something like this. From the demonstrations shown in this film, I hope you now have a slight appreciation for the massive scale of the universe and the seemingly insignificant part that humans play in it. I'll leave you with a final thought. At the start of the film, I said that the universe was 93 billion light years wide. Using the exact same scaling that we used for our galaxies, the observable universe would be 20,000 kilometers wide. And that's just the observable universe. What's outside of that? Well, nobody knows. The light has simply not had enough time to reach us.